welcome back how you're doing hope you're all well today it's about one o'clock so far i think um i've just been editing the videos actually i sent off a parcel as well that instax mini that i was selling back before we started traveling um, and it still hasn't got to the person who bought it which is really annoying royal mail have basically messed up um, and i'm having to kind of sort that out so i've been on the phone with them for a little while this morning um, and then we've kind of been thinking about on youtube trying to change a few things around and stuff so it's been quite a chilled morning to be fair um, I think the plan for today is to head up towards Keswick or Durham Water. I think we're going to stay there for the night. Um, we can either drive back the way we came or we can go across the ferry. And as it's only £5 to get the ferry across, we're going to do that because it sounds quite interesting and none of us have been on a ferry or anything. So it's, I know it's only a, obviously a little tiny one just crossing a lake, but I think it'd be something interesting to do. Um, this is obviously where the van's parked. I'll give you a quick rundown because most of the people are left now. So I can obviously show you around the area and stuff without showing you their vans and stuff like that. So let me show you around it. So this is where we parked up. Let me show you. Careful there, there's some mud. Don't want to go and stand in that. But this is where we parked up last night under a load of trees right next to the lake. Absolutely beautiful it was. Um, shame we couldn't park here, but someone else would park there. Let me quickly show you down and around obviously where the actual water edge is but look how beautiful it is down here absolutely stunning um but yeah we couldn't go down there unfortunately because someone else was down here they did say we can go down but we just didn't in the end yeah so we marked this spot down on google maps so obviously if we stop using path not or it goes bust or anything like that we've still got a spot so that's basically what we've been doing when we found a spot that we really like we've just been marking it on google maps in like little folders and stuff um, and trying to collect like little areas where we like to stay um, and this is definitely one that we'll come back to although Windermere isn't the best town or anything like that obviously if we're passing through this area um, which we probably will do because I want to see Buttermere and stuff but I don't think we're going to do that this trip um, but yeah so I want to come back to Lake District at some point and maybe explore this west coast a little bit more um, and if that's the case obviously we'll probably come and stay here maybe a night or two because it's an absolute beauty spot so we're all ready to go now we're literally just going to pack up the rest of the van make sure everything's secured down head towards the ferry and then we'll chat to you then I met an old man I said, tell me your story He took out an old made it down to the ferry we literally just missed it it's kind of full um, and they've not pulled off just yet so damn but I think it's only about maybe 15 20 minute wait and then it comes back again so it's not too long we've still got a nice view so we're just going to enjoy the view wait for the ferry to come back but if we'd have come a little bit earlier we'd have got on it and then we'd have been on this journey across but never mind so the ferry's arrived cars are just getting off now we're waiting for them to get off and then we can get on we're going on to. Oh, no, I'm scared. <laughs> so we're now on the ferry. It didn't sink when I came on, which is all good. Um, now I just got to wait to actually uh, go across. Hopefully, we don't get seasick either. So we're heading across now. It's such a weird sensation when you're looking forward and then it kind of feels like you're moving, but obviously the engine's off and you're not sure if you are moving because you're moving so slow. But then when you look to the left, you realise that you are actually moving. Some of us feeling sick already, so if we do cross to Europe, I have no idea how she's going to deal with that. Look at the view through the rails. Absolutely stunning in the mountain range over there. So we're over. It's definitely worth a fiver just to come over. Little experience. Bit of a shame about the rail on the left side, so you couldn't really see much. But from what you could see through the actual railing, um, it's absolutely stunning views. And we got the left side as well. I was hoping we didn't get put in the middle because then you wouldn't be able to see sod all. <laughs> but yeah, so now we're just going to head up towards Keswick. Searching for glory. So we've come down to the lake's edge, it's actually really beautiful around here, we've went up to Fry's Crag as well, we already spent like a couple of hours around here, we spent about an hour and a half looking around the town, just a nice little town, once you've done it you've done it kind of thing, but it was still really nice nevertheless and we managed to get a solar shower so hopefully I can have a shower later. But yeah, we decided to have a quick walk around the lake because that's what we came to the lake district for. So we've decided to come for a little walk. I think we've only got about an hour left to walk around, but I'm definitely going to make the most of that hour. So I've come down the little edge, Tabitha's up there behind me, and I've come down to the actual water side. 
It's absolutely stunning here. This is kind of what I was expecting from the Lake District. Like, look at the view behind me there. Just mountains. Absolutely glorious. And I imagine when we get to Scotland, it's going to be like this and even better. So, proper looking forward to it now. It's going to happen one way or the other. Whether you like it or not. Stop looking for the answers. Then you'll find what you've got. When you grow up. So we're at a park up for the night, um, there's loads of vans around us again so I'm not recording right next to the van but we are parked up next to Allswater, um, we're kind of looking for spots to park at and it was either between this and Buttermere, Buttermere was nice and it had a stream next to it but we're kind of heading this direction anyway and that would have been an, added like an extra half an hour, hour drive onto our journey um, so we decided just to come straight to Allswater and stay here, we're literally right next to the lake though, like absolutely stunning views. Um, it's just been sunset as well and the sunset was beautiful, literally it just lit up, um, yeah it was absolutely stunning but today's been a really nice day to be fair, Derwent was definitely everything as good as I was expecting it to be, um, that was definitely lived up to the hype that I was kind of putting on it, uh, so yeah well happy with that, Tabitha enjoyed herself too, but I think tomorrow we're going to go to Aeroforce Waterfall and then maybe explore like all's water a bit more. Um, and then I think the next day is the day that we're actually going over the border into Scotland because I don't think there's anything else on this coast in the U like in England that we want to go to. I think we're just going to go straight up and go straight into Scotland after that. Um, but yeah, so for today, we're just going to end it here. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow.